everybody. Here we are for round three. Uh, very entertainingly, the person in fifth place got the buy uh, because of all those other drops. Uh, we lost the die roll, so we're going to play second. We've got a turn three and a turn four play. That's pretty slow. Um, I like the lands we have. I don't know if I want to risk it. Um, that's tough. I'll keep it. I'll be greedy. And probably flood out. As long as our opponent's not super fast, we should be good. And our opponent doesn't seem super fast with passing priority. <laughs> Rocky Tar Pit. Uh, that's the Swamp Mountain Fetchland. Cool. That's slow. I like it. Spinning Darkness. All right. A mountain and a go. So it looks like he might be red black as well. Grave Bane Zombie, alright. So my four drop will either be the zombie or the Minotaur, depending on what he does. If he doesn't have a creature down, this would be a very nice hasty guy. Passes the turn, alright. Wake of Vultures, another four drop option. <coughs> Well, let's drop the Cyclops and see how it goes. I assume, yeah, there we go. I was wondering when he was going to go and fetch that land. Taken a while to choose his mountain or swamp. Maybe trying to figure out what he's going to cast. Maybe he's got some double colored cards. Who knows? Spinning Darkness will be online if I draw one more land, so that'll be good. Okay, it's not black creatures, it's black cards. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, maybe our opponent just won't find a, a mountain or a swamp. I suppose that's an option. There we go. He found a mountain. Must have been hiding somewhere. Still on my turn. There we go. On to his turn. What are we going to see? Need to see some creatures soon. Oh. Second main. All right. I think we're going to get a hasty minotaur down here. I assume he's holding back a rock slide or something. But a rock slide won't stop two minotaurs. Or, well, a minotaur and a cyclops. <laughs> Another cyclops, alright. So let's get this guy out. And let's bash in for six. Okay, yeah, he's got something. Ah, he's got the Delirium. So tap target creature that player controls. That creature deals damage equal to its power to that player. Sure, I'm fine with that. I'll take three. You take three as well. <laughs> Seems like a pretty slow play on his part. He's going to get a blocker down, though. Uh, Cinder Giant, 5-3. At the beginning of your upkeep, it deals 2 damage to each other creature you control. So, maybe he'll trade with one of my guys. I'm 
perfectly okay racing him. Yeah, he's going to trade here. That is fine by me. I will drop uh, the vultures and start getting in the air. Because being red-black, he presumably doesn't have many flyers. It's obviously pretty vulnerable to burn, but that's okay. Spinning Darkness will be online to take down any uh, three toughness creatures he puts down that might be trouble. Infernal Harvest. So he picked that up. So the vultures are going to die. That's fine. And we're going to see Razor Pendulum. Okay. So uh, all I need to do is get him to five, and uh, his own pendulum's going to kill him. Tar Pit Warrior. That's pretty cool. Let's go in for three, take him to 11. And then I think we'll drop the Cyclops and the Warrior. Cyclops. Warrior. We can Spinning Darkness a blocker, get in for nine, and the pendulum will finish him off. as long as his blocker is an X3. Agonizing Memories. Look at the target player's hand. Uh, choose two cards from it. Put them on top of that player's library in any order. All right, sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure he still just loses now, <laughs> unless he has a two-drop blocker. And even then, he'd go down to five and then down to three. So I don't actually get to see what cards he put on top in what order. It's kind of annoying. He let me draw the Spinning Darkness? Okay. I'm not even going to cast it. I'm just going to let the Pendulum kill him. <laughs> Passes to the end step. And pendulumed. So that was good. We didn't see much. We saw some good removal, but otherwise not much. So I think we're just going to go back in uh, as is. Yeah, let's do it. So he is going to play first. What does our hand look like? Two lands. That's not great. We do have two three drops. And he was a pretty slow deck. We are on game two. That's a terrible, terrible, terrible justification. Um, but I'm going to risk it. I may regret it. But I'm going to risk it. Oh, not regretting it. Yay. All right, let's lead with this mountain. Don't know if I'll lead with the Searing Spear or the Scavenger. Two drop, Wall of Corpses, O2, Sack it, Destroy Target Creature, Wall of Corpses, Blocking. Sure, that's fine by me. That Minotaur again, we'll pass the turn again. Breath Stealer, sure thing. And a Phyrexian Walker. <laughs> All right. You play that Ornithopter. Uh, let's put down the Scavengers. I wonder if he has a way to pump that Phyrexian Walker up or if he's just treating it as a, a free wall. I'll probably trade the Breath Stealer for the Scavengers here, I think. Unless it just dies. Diamond Kaleidoscope. Pay three to put a Prism. Sack a Prism to get a mana. All right. Seems bad. Seems bad. 
Ooh, I've stopped drawing lands. Um, I'm going to swing in with my scavengers here. If he wants to trade, I'm fine with that. If he wants to take three, I'm fine with that. Trade? Sure thing. And then I will drop this fire fiend. <clears throat> really need some lands now, though. Raging gorillas. There's a the land. Um, hmm. So if I swing in, he could blow up my fire fiend with the wall because he has a black back. This is when it blocks or becomes blocked. It becomes a 4-1. All right. So I think my choice is going to be... Hmm. Not actually sure what my choice is going to be here. I could just hold up Rock Slide. No, let's drop the Minotaur. He is down to one card, which is pretty nice. He's going to start making prisms for whatever that's worth. I would gladly trade the Fire Fiend for the Gorilla and blow up the corpses. He's making a prism. Prism. Oh, it's actually a creature. Yeah, oh, one creature. that. So it's, a, it's a, an Eldrazi, essentially. But uh, I think Eldrazi spawn can only make colorless, possibly. That would make sense. Wasn't around for Rise of the Eldrazi, unfortunately. But I can assure you that the second that comes back on flashback drafts, I will be doing one for the channel. Probably no attacks, I imagine. Pretty smart. Uh, brood of Cockroaches. When it's put into the graveyard, at the beginning of your next upstep, you lose one life and return it back to your hand. Okay. Seems not the best. Um, I think I'm going to bash in with this Minotaur. Um, at worst, we trade here. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, sure could even just rock slide it. Rock slide it for one. Doesn't seem great. Now we'll just let it go. And then I think now I'll bring down the Searing Spear. I can destroy up to a three drop so far with a uh, Karavix Purge. Bone Harvest, so he's going to go and get back the Gorilla and the Breath Stealer, and draw a card. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Another Mountain. Hmm. I will swing in with the Fire Fiend. He'll probably just block with the O3, but in case he tries to get rid of it with the wall, it would be fine by me. Or he just lets it through and we get a free two damage. That is totally okay with me. Now let's drop this Gravebane Zombie. 
He is holding me off with those O2s and O3s, surprisingly. We're going to see the gorilla come to. Oh, nope. Razor Tooth Rats. Sure. Zombie Scavengers. We've got two creatures that could regen with them. Hmm. I'm going to swing in with the Fire Fiend and the Gravebane Zombie this time. He's got a lot on board, but a lot of it is basically nothing. So he's going to trade with the rats. Sounds good. Oh, nope. He's going to trade with the prism. And he still seems very afraid of that. There we go. <laughs> so I could rock slide here. Wouldn't be good. Let's just drop the scavengers. So he's got a Raging Gorilla and a, uh, a Breath Stealer in hand, and something else, a Swamp. So we'll probably see both those creatures come down, I would imagine. Down comes the Gorilla, and he makes a Prism, okay. So I could blow up the Gorilla when it becomes a 4-1, dealing 4 damage to him. That could be good. And he didn't leave up mana for the corpses, so I'm going to swing in with everything. And see if I can get a really big rock uh, rock slide here. So he's going to block with the O3. He's going to block there. He's going to block there. I'm active player, so that's just going to die from flanking, actually and he's gonna block there. So yeah, I'll rock slide. Oh, he's gonna double block for, uh, but, oh, okay, okay. So don't I get like, yeah, I get a bunch of flanking. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go like so. So his gorillas are just gonna die from the flanking. His prism is just going to die from the flanking. And I can just rock slide his board. Uh, one damage to that, one damage. I don't even need to deal one damage to that, actually. One damage to that, one damage to that, one damage to that. We'll just let the, that kill that. Let's go red. One, two, three. And clear the board! So he's going to have cockroaches and a breath stealer. He must not have understood how uh, flanking worked. Or otherwise potentially didn't understand how active, non-active player uh, trigger stacking went. So he's going to drop the cockroaches and the breath stealer, I would imagine. Oh, I guess that purge is a sorcery, so I couldn't have uh, used that on the the gorillas. Makes a prism instead. Interesting. So I'm just going to come in with everything. He just takes it. Uh, we just win. Four, five, six. Oh, we almost win. We almost win. I'll just cast the vultures here. Okay, he realizes he's in a tough spot and he gives up. So we uh, went two and one, so that's pretty good. We got a mirage pack and a weatherlight pack. 
Uh, that means I just need a Visions pack to do another draft, so we might see another Mirage draft uh, in the next couple weeks. Uh, it is around for two weeks. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was fun getting back into those old cards. Uh, we did not do well match one, but match two and match three went much better. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that, let me know in the comments. Uh, any questions, comments, suggestions, etc., let me know. You can find me on Twitter as well, at the Manaleek. That's L-E-E-K, like the vegetable, not the card. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Manaleek. And you've found me already here on YouTube. Uh, if you like the videos, you can click that little thumbs up and give it a like. You can also subscribe to my channel. That will help me reach more people. That'll help keep you notified of uh, any new videos as they get uploaded. Um, otherwise, any comments, suggestions, questions, etc., let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.